Hey guys, Jake here going through your, uh, what is, uh, eighth tutorial on Objective C programming. My bad. Anyways, uh, previous tutorial we went over comp, uh, what, what did we go over? Compound operators. And, uh, this tutorial we're going to be going over comparison operators. A little bit different, but as we build upon where we're going with the Objective C programming to more advanced features, this is definitely some crucial stuff for you. Maybe a little bit boring for you right now, but you're gonna need to know some of this for, let's say, if then statements, I mean, if if else, um, also while loops, all that stuff that basically helps the flow of your application and uh, moving forward. So, without further ado, let's check out what are comparison operators. I mean, in uh, your basic algebra class, you would say blank is x is blank, you know, greater than or less than y. Is this true? And that's basically what these comparison operators do, is they validate to see whether one variable or one occurrence is greater than, less than, not equal to another value. And then it returns either true or false in that regard. So let's start up at the top. This is kind of, uh, these are going to be some of your basic operators, comparison operators. Starting at the top, we've got x equals equals y, which basically returns true if x is equal to y. So if x was 10 and y was 10, then it would return true in that case. If it was x was 10 and y was 9, it would return, return false instead. All right, moving forward, we're going to speed through these because, yeah, they're kind of self-explanatory. x is greater than y. x is greater than or equal to y. x is less than y. x is less than or equal to y. Here's one that you probably aren't familiar with um, unless you've been in programming or some sort. But x is, uh, we got an exclamation point, equal to y which basically says uh, it's going to return true if x is not equal to y. So instead of equal equal, which uh, x is equal to y, the exclamation point uh, equal sign is not equal to. So remember that moving forward. Um, we'll do some more detailed stuff on that. Okay, the other thing uh, that I was going to touch on today is some of the, some of the basic operators for or, and, and uh, XOR, which is basically one and only of the two operands, meet the qualifications. So in this case, OR is designated with the two upper, I don't know what you call them, straight bars. Uh, I forgot the exact term on those. Straight bars, we'll call them. Um, so if 10 is less than 20, so we got our comparison operator which this part's true so far or 20 is less than 10 which that one's false since we're working with the or the or operator only has to return one of the two operands the operands are these statements here in, a, in order for it to return true so since this one's true and this one's false and it's an or, so we only have to have one that returns true for the statement to be true. Then we get a result of true. Catch you following me there? All right, drop me a comment if you're lost already. And uh, moving on, and, which is designated with two and signs there. If, and, and, and you have to qualify that both are correct. Both operands are correct in order for the statement to return true. So in this case, it's the same operands as uh, the OR statement we just walked through. 10 is less, which is true. 20 is less than 10, which is false. So given that it's an AND statement here, one is true, one is false, therefore the whole statement's false. All right, the X OR basically is if one and only one of the two operands is true, then it'll return true, or, or it'll return a one in that case. So in this case, again, same operands, true, false. One, if one 
The qualific qualification is if one of them is true, then the statement's true. Now, if this one was true as well, then this would return false because the XOR is only saying we only want one of the two. We don't want both to be. We don't want both to be true. We don't want both to be false. We only want one to be true. So that's kind of the basics to the comparison operators. Again, we're going to be getting into uh, the if else uh, in the future in the whiles, which are definitely important and will uh, kind of help concrete some of these terms that we're throwing around operands and comparison operators so stay tuned for the next uh, tutorials and uh, we'll see you guys later peace out